This is my favorite meat replacement when it comes to dishes where you need ground beef to stick together, like burgers or meatballs. This is seriously up there with Beyond Meat, but way, way cheaper, and anyone can do it. Plus, these are actually healthy. Tons of fiber, veggies, and protein inside. To start, we'll first need to cook the lentils. I first make sure there's no stones in the mix. The recommended water to lentil ratio I learned is for every cup of dry lentils lentils, 4 cups of water. 1 cup of dry lentils produces 3 cups of cooked lentils. With a cup of cooked lentils you can make 5 large meatballs or 2 burgers. Here I'm cooking for the whole week so I'm doing 2 dry cups of lentils. I cover the pot and put the stove on high heat until the water boils. Then I turn the heat to low and count 20 minutes. While those are cooking I'm going to peel a carrot and one potato and shred them raw in the thinnest setting. This is going to create a lot of thin strains of veggie muscle. Yes, these are supposed to mimic how muscle fibers make meat stick together strongly. I also wash a bunch of cilantro and dice it finely with an onion. I forgot to record me washing the cilantro, but make sure to do it. Quantities here are, you know, approximate. Uh, they're veggies. They're fine. The more you eat, the better. And the better tasting these are going to be. The lentils are still not done. I grab one and it's still hot. So I'm going to blend some oats to act as a healthier alternative to breadcrumbs. These are higher in fiber and protein than regular breadcrumbs. Usually with a regular blender like mine, you'll need to give it a little help on the sides so it actually blends it fine. Now that I have all of the ingredients ready, and it's been 20 minutes, I taste a lentil to see if it's soft. Yes, they're quite mushy at this point. Turn off the heat and strain them. Sadly, this broth is really tasty and nutritious, but this time I don't have any other use for it. The key to this recipe being successful is that the lentils are dry, like really dry. I let them dry and cool in a colander for about 10 minutes. You don't want any water on this mix. This is also why I soak up the potato and the carrot for any excess water that will ruin the mix. The potato especially has a lot of water, so I squeeze it first in the sink because it takes a lot of napkins. I say ruin because if the lentils or the veggies are wet, you're gonna need more oats to make the mixture come together. That means less tasty flavors from the veggies and more blandness from the oats. Once everything is dry, it's time to mash the lentils really destroy them go ham here if you have a food processor you should really use it for this step but whatever whenever they look like refried beans add the veggies mix them together then add the oats little by little again the less oats you use the better this will taste i used around a cup here now i use the burger test to know when to stop adding oats you make a large burger and grab it by the middle and if it doesn't break easily it takes about 10 seconds then you're good this is a common criticism veggie burgers or mixes have that they break easier than their activists arguments but this recipe addresses that by drying everything beforehand now you only need to to spice it up. This is a freestyle of your choice. I'm using black pepper, salt and cumin. The mix is ready. You can store it in the fridge now, but I would suggest to form everything now because once it stays in the fridge, it's harder to manipulate later. I'm doing burgers today, but you can make nuggets, meatballs, etc. Just pan fry it with a little bit of oil until crispy on the outside and these are bangers. Make sure that the dishes you put them in have some sort of grease or sauce, like vegan cheese on top of them or pasta sauce. Otherwise, enjoy your meatless meals. And if you want to see the best pirata that you can prepare, you have to see this video. This is a classic burrito from northern Mexico and you have to make it at home. It is the real Mexican cuisine, not that Tex-Mex stuff you're used to. 